happy spooktober. I'm really sorry that I haven't been posting very much. I've been very busy with assignments and schoolwork. But I'm going to try to do some Halloween tutorials for you when I can, um, including me getting ready on Halloween, hopefully. So today I'm going to do one, and it's actually inspired by Nikki Tutorials. Uh, this right here, this kind of mask. See, that I'm doing it inspired of this, except I think I want to do maybe instead of just a shadow, maybe do some like, like it's tearing off a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to start off by priming my face. I'm just going to do my whole face. Just, it's just as easier. I'm going to use the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer and put this all over my face. a brow pencil. I'm just going to use this Art Deco pencil in shade 6. And I'm just going to sketch out on the side of my face just the outline of where I want that makeup to go. I think we have the shape down. So I'm gonna um, just rub that out a little bit there. I just smushed it a little bit more, like added a little more and smushed it out. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna do the foundation. So I'm going to use the combination of the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless. Uh, Normal Oily Skin Foundation in shade 110 Porcelain and mix it with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in shade C1 Alabaster. And then going to apply this with a wet beauty blender. I'm going to do concealer. I'm going to use my usual. The Kat Von D Lock It Green Concealer in shade Whiteout and the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in shade CW01. Finishing powder in shade 05 Fair in a wet beauty blender, and then setting the rest of it with the same powder in the Urban Decay Large Tip Powder Brush. Now I'm going to do my eyebrow. I'm just going to do my one eyebrow off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with my eyebrow and that sounds really weird. <laughs> now I'm going to work on the eye makeup. So I'm going to prime my eyes, which you already know. I'm going to blend it out with this Urban Decay domed concealer brush. I'm just going to use this Smashbox cover shot eyeshadow palette in matte and I'm going to take the shade Assistant right here and the Urban Decay Light Filling Brush and just set that. Okay, so now I'm just going to do something colorful, kind of like what Nikki Tutorials do. I don't want to do something just like regular, like neutrals. I'm going to go in with Smashbox cover shot eyeshadow palette in bold and I'm going to take the shade Bolt, which is the yellow right here, on a NYX crease blender brush, and I'm just going to buff that to the first part of the crease right here. Now I'm just going to take 
the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Dream Master eyeshadow palette and take the same brush with the shade Doll Face, which is this bright pink right here, and do that just more over this way. Now going in with Man Eater, where she is right here, and doing that same just on the outer part. Back in with Doll Face and Bolts again, and just keep layering until you have the intensity back to where you want it. tapered blending brush and just buff out that top edge there. Now I'm just going to cut the crease with this brush right here. I forget what the brand is, but it's just a flat eyeshadow brush and the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflage and Concealer in Jade 10 Fair. I'm just going to cut it all the way. I'm not doing a half cut crease, just a full cut crease. First, I'm going to blend out that concealer at the edge there. Then I'm going to set this down with the shade Techno from that bold Smashbox cover shop palette and this Urban Decay large blending brush to set. I'm taking that concealer and just cleaning up that side there with this flat eyeliner brush but same brand as the flat eyeshadow brush I just used and Beauty Blender and setting it with the Maybelline powder I used earlier. Line. I'm just going to take this Quo short shader brush and I'm just going to take all those shades again uh, except for Techno and put them right under here. blush brush and this wet n wild color icon blush in shade pearlescent pink Highlighter. just gonna put my base down using this benefit what's up cream highlighter and this small dual contour brush and going in with this Too Faced candlelight glow highlighter in rosy glow and applying it with this Urban Decay Defacing Highlighter Brush and in my inner corner and brow bone with this e.l.f. pencil brush. Rainbow Effect Highlighter and this Elf Small Tapered Brush and the same Elf 
pencil brush for my inner corner and grab them. Now I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay setting spray. Now we are going to do eyeliner. For eyeliner today, I'm going to use the Tarte Sex Kitten Felt Tip Liner in black to do winged eyeliner. I'm going to use this Bonjour Paris Ultra Black Edition Twist Up Mascara in black. And it applies to my upper and lower lashes. Now, before we do lashes and lips, I'm going to take a makeup wipe and I'm going to wipe the rest of the makeup around the area that I want to make 3D. So I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and do that. Now since there's already a shadow from the line we drew to sketch out the shape at the start, that'll give us a little bit more uh, help with creating the dimension. Don't mind my skin, it's very sensitive, so when I touch it like that, it gets red. Okay, so, now I'm just going to start with a matte um, brown eyeshadow. I'm just going to take that Smashbox cover shot in matte palette, and I'm just going to take the shade, a mix of Work It and Publisher with this Quo Bullet Smudger Brush. And I'm just going to go along the outside. Okay, it's turning out really orange. I'm gonna actually going to take the Kat Von D shade and light eye contour palette. And I'm going to take the shade right here on that brush and go on the outside. gonna go in working with that Smashbox palette and use it a little bit warmer around the outside. Use those two shades. Now I'm gonna take black from this Quo short shader brush. This is from that Kat Von D eye contour palette and I'm going to very carefully go over that outline there. edges a little more. So now 
I'm going to take this NYX Professional Makeup SFX Cream Color in red, and I'm going to use... this little concealer brush and I'm going to put it along here not really close to the line but not too far out just there and then we're gonna put black around it so let's do that just smudging it out slightly around it on the outside same brush just wipe it off and now I'm gonna go in with that same product just in black and that same brush and I'm going to run it in right here along there and blending it with the red slightly being very careful earlier in that same black and as well as the red shade called blood milk from this Kat Von D Serpentina palette so this shade right here and I'm going to run that where that red is right over top and then we're going to do the black Other Kat Von D shades in the white palette, and I'm carefully going around. Now I'm just going to take that big brush again and just buff it out. to take this Makeup Forever Professional Pro Only Coagulated Artificial Blood and I'm going to put that all along the darkest part there. I'm going to use this e.l.f. lip brush to do that. Came right out again and uh, so while I was charging I just put on an eyelash and I put some white liner around here and in my waterline I just used this Maybelline Lasting Drama Liner in White. So I'm going to finish off with that blood now, and then we'll do lips. Here it's the two basements of matte liquid lipstick in shade Celebd. So guys, this is the finished look right here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please give me a big thumbs up down below. Uh, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and I hope to see you in my next Halloween video. Thanks guys. Bye